Nice little surprise on the milkman. Wild rainbow from the Rio Grande. What's going on, everybody? Uh, okay, yeah, we're not, we're not doing this. What's going on, everybody? Uh, today, I wanted to tie up a milkman. This is absolutely one of my favorite patterns, especially during runoff when the water is a little bit stained. On the Chama River, where I guide, especially on the tailwater sections, I feel like I'm in perpetual runoff. The water is always stained, always off color. Um, this pattern has a little bit of flash to it, has a white bead, it really pops in uh, stained water, and I think it'll be an absolute favorite for you guys. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. Um, I will leave a materials list below in the description of this video, um, but it's super basic stuff. So the thread that we're gonna use on this is UTC 70 denier fluorescent fire orange. Size 14 falling mill jig force hook. 2.8 millimeter uh, white bead, India hen, brassy sized wire in Sculpin Olive, medium uh, Mirage tinsel in Opal. We're gonna use two dubbings. I don't know, I think, I don't know what the original pattern uses. I, I don't think the fish care. Uh, we're gonna use a dark hair's ear, natural for the abdomen, and then for the thorax, we're gonna use some squirrel dub. It's in here somewhere, trust me. Let's get, let's get popping. Size 14 hook in the vise. We're good to go. Um, I'm gonna tie a couple of these. I lent some out to my buddy uh, the last time I was fishing. And oh, whatever. All right, let's get loco. Gonna do a couple wraps, quick little thread dam. I'm not adding lead. The reason I don't add lead, I will on smaller flies for some taper, but you're really not gonna add weight to it. I'm gonna take my uh, brassy Sculpin olive wire, punch that into the bead. It's a little aggressive. All right, slide it into the bead. Then I'm going to take my uh, Mylar tinsel in medium, and I'm gonna put this on top of this beautiful thread base that I have created. You know, these should be fast to tie. Um, We're gonna wrap back to where the barb would be. I'm gonna get crazy now, going to my dubbing, my dubbing collection. And if uh, this is a loon venturing, um, I did a video on how I organize um, my bench. If you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link below. We're getting our dubbing. What I do is I cut a little corner out of the bag and just like a piping bag, just pull this out. Gonna dub this up real quick. Alrighty kind of build a taper. And then I'm gonna stop about an eye length behind the bead. Take my flash, pull it forward, do a couple securing wraps. Just so you know, if it looks like I'm tying a little awkward, it is because I have a camera sitting in front of me. Then I'm gonna counter wrap it. So I'm gonna go the opposite direction and wrap the wire towards myself. Couple securing wraps. Helicopter this bad boy off. You're good. And then for this step, India hen, I'm gonna pull off a feather. Comb back the fibers like that and clip the tip off. And these are gonna be the legs. I don't really think this makes like the biggest difference. And then on each side of that V, that I just created, uh, I want them, I want the uh, fibers to be roughly a hook gap. So you can see close enough. I mean, again, if a trout isn't gonna eat this fly because there's 15 fibers on one side and 14 on the other, I don't necessarily know I wanna fish there. Couple wraps, I want these fibers to come hit the almost the bend of the hook it doesn't have to that's good enough for me i don't i don't really care this will probably get lost in a rock all right we're good with that and then just to kind of spruce this up um i'm gonna use some squirrel i like the squirrel stuff just because it's you know it's shaggier i think it looks i think it looks pretty so peel some of this off, kind of a loose wrap, kind of get those guard hairs in there or a loose dub 
excuse me, come through. Build up a little hot spot, just like that. Gonna come in with some super glue. Lock tight. It's tight, it's locked. Hit that thread. I like to do a couple wraps, whip finish. Obviously using all loon tools is gonna give you plus five tying ability. Bang, you're done. You just tied yourself a milkman. Amazing. If you want, if you're gonna be picky about it, like I'm gonna be, you can come in here, even up some of those guard hairs. Again, do the fish care? They don't. These are animals with pea-sized brains. This looks like absolutely nothing, but one of my favorite flies. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And if you wanna see me whip up some other bugs or uh, some of my favorite, you know, kind of guide flies, easy to tie, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.